Okay, thank you so much. Hi everyone, welcome to class. I hope I'm visible to all of you. Kindly confirm. Welcome back. Welcome back. Finally, after after just trying for half an hour, finally I'm connected. So thank you so much for joining again. That's great. Okay, so let's quickly start with a wait. Just just give me a minute. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Definitely. And I'm in live class right now. Yeah. It is resolved. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Def. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So let's get started. So we are studying statistics, kurtosis and skewness, right? Okay, so uh, now finally it is fixed, right? Let's start. Okay, my name is Neharika Bhaktani. I've qualified JRF in commerce. And if you haven't followed me on Unacademy yet, then please follow me on Unacademy. The link is, uh, the link of my profile is pinned on the comment section. Okay, and this is my profile on Unacademy. Uh, that is uh, Neharika Bhaktani here you can go directly on Unacademy and you will find this profile or if you are already on Unacademy you can just type my name click on the follow button and then special class and uh, you can also see some special class we also teach paper 1 and paper 2 and from today to day after tomorrow there is an offer 12 months and 6 months so you will get discount uh, that is 2 month and 1 month discount also you will get uh, on 12 month and 6 month subscription we are also teaching karnataka assistant professor examination and these are the free live classes which we take on an academy platform that is which i take on an academy platform tomorrow also 6 pm to 7 pm we will meet okay so let's get started finally whatever time time we are having let's just finish it let's start it and then let's finish it very very quickly so basically two things we have to study one is known as kurtosis kurtosis and one is known as skewness right okay now they are actually related to what normal distribution curve normal distribution curve do you know what is a normal distribution curve or how it looks like Okay, so all those people who have joined class, I would request you to please click on the like button of this video, like this video, okay? And um, after all the struggles, <laughs> if we are starting, so I just need a like button, okay? So that we'll start smoothly. Okay, now, 
So normal distribution curve is a bell shaped curve, a bell shaped curve which you have seen in your uh, class 11, class 12, in statistics, in research aptitude and all, right, right, where we find out all the observations, almost all the observation, where the mean, mode and median are exactly same, right, and these are known as what, the tails of normal distribution curve, and these tails of normal distribution curve are also known as what outliers okay outliers that means all the data that is uh, there in the normal distribution curve that lies here 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 almost all the data lie here okay and all the values of mean mode median is here but then how it is linked to kurtosis how it is linked to uh, skewness we'll see one by one See, let's go to kurtosis first. Can anybody guess what is kurtosis? What is kurtosis? Is it like, is it related to the height or is it related to the tail? It is actually related to the, to the tail of the normal distribution curve. Many people think that, it, like many people say that, ki yo, it is related to the height, that it is related to the height of the normal distribution curve that if the height of the normal distribution curve is long or medium or short then it decides the name of the kurtosis but do you know what is the actual theory the actual theory is that kurtosis name is because or you can say it is actually the measure of the tail of the tail of a normal distribution curve how come tail you have seen normal distribution curve isn't it you have seen it right twinkle neha i think i cannot read all your comments it is either stuck kindly tell me am i visible to you twinkle neha arzu uh, piyush please tell me please confirm i am visible to you um I hope it's not stuck again. Yes. Okay. 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 Hmm. No, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Kind. Great. 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 So you have seen normal distribution curve, right? Okay. Now these are the tail. Now, whatever will be the measure of this tail? Now, if this tail is light or this tail is heavy, that will decide kurtosis not the height of kurtosis see it is actually the theory is like suppose if a normal distribution curve is going like this like this that means so many values in this curve how so many values will be so many values will be scattered here okay will be scattered here okay and some values will be here that means here we cannot see any crowd of data here we cannot see any crowd of data only one one layer of data we can see right and if we compare it simply with this normal distribution curve, sorry with this distribution curve this one okay so here we can easily see that so much of data will be cluttered will be collected at this side because there is no space to go outside there is no there is you can see see wait here there is no space to go outside so that means so much of data will be here will be here and here there will be scattered data that means it is heavy tailed or light tailed this one is heavy tailed or light tailed very very light tailed very very having very very light weight because it is just carrying one one data very scattered data so it is very light tailed okay so if it is light tailed that means its beta value its kurtosis value should be less than three why so less than three because 
the normal distribution beta value or you can say kurtos's value is equal to 3 it is based upon a formula a formula okay so now the kurtos's formula so normal distribution curve beta value is 3 but if it is but if a normal distribution curve is so much spread and it goes down goes downward that means it takes the form of platykurtic platykurtic then it becomes very very light tail and when it becomes light tail then at that time the beta value is less than 3 okay now the next task what is the next task we have to see what leptokurtic leptokurtic how it works see 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 your the data is very very heavy right okay so much heavy data is collected so much it does not have any space to go outside and all the data will be your only your only your only okay so due to heaviness of the tail kindly remember these words due to heaviness of the tail the beta value will be what more than 3 of course ma'am of course this this calculation to anybody can do ki due to heaviness of the tail the value will increase so it will be what more than 3 now if the beta is more than 3 and you can compare the height of the kurtic that is kurtosis this normal distribution is abnormally heightened up that means abnormally tall so it is known as what leptokurtic and if it is abnormally flat then it is known as what platykurtic simple okay okay ma'am minus 1 to 1 normal distribution curve very good yeah see all the all the points which are here na here all the points in the uh, normal distribution curve they are minus 1 to plus 1 isn't it yes or no yes of course neha minus 1 to plus 1 they lie here in in continuous you can say continuous data is there now suppose suppose here in the normal distribution curve suppose if point 5 value is there it will be here if point minus point 3 value is there it will be here if uh, minus 0.8 value is there it will be here plus 0.8 value will be also here but yahan to is space hi nahi mili na here they didn't even get space here how much squeeze data they are having that means here very very less space so whoever wants to fit they have to fit in this right okay so that's why yahan pe space is come now what about beta value from where i am taking this beta value beta value is the value of kurtosis which is arrived from a formula that formula you will see right now okay so now only out of out of this diagram only and only this is a normal distribution curve whereas this is a leptokurtic this is a platykurtic if you want to draw in one sheet then you can draw is it clear now okay great 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 okay right heavy tail and this is what light tailed right and this is also known as what normal distribution okay where it is normally distributed and here this is light tail now let's go ahead with key all the types definition how it works and all your questions okay all your questions okay let's start from the beginning so that you know you can understand it uh, now diagrammatically you have understood neha yes all the questions will be answered 
okay one by one one by one let's take it see kurtosis it is actually in if you have written question please write it again because my screen was stuck so i don't know like what's the question otherwise it will come anyways it will come so see in probability theory and statistics our kurtosis kurtosis is derived from the greek word that is kritos or kutos meaning what curved arcing okay curved arcing curved or arcing so when there is a curve like this it is a measure of tailedness so now many people actually say that it is a measure of peakedness right okay so yes that is also correct that is also correct people consider that also but yeah if you see actual like beta value normal distribution this that then in reality it is the measure of tailedness of the probability distribution of a real valued ran na random variable like skewness kutos is described the shape of a probability distribution and there are different ways of quantifying it to theoretical distribution and corresponding ways of estimating it from a sample from a population different measures of kutosis may have uh, different interpretation that is very very obvious now till here till here you understood that it is the measure of tailedness kindly write it down if you are already noting all the points and and it is given by whom it is given by whom by same the famous person in statistics by carl pearson right carl pearson you have done so many things like carl pearson skewness also carl pearson kutos is also right so kutos is also given by carl pearson skewness also given by carl pearson what is skewness we will do it now kutos is of any univariate normal distribution that means any number kutos is any normal distribution kutos is value is what value is 3 which is which is denoted as beta equals to 3 it is common to compare the kurtosis of the distribution distribution of kurtosis less than 3 are said to be platycurtic although this does not imply that the distribution is flat top see kindly see that it does not mean <clears throat> it does not mean ki it has flat top it just mean the beta value less than 3 just mean that it is light tailed okay it has light tailed that means it actually have fewer and less extreme outliers than a normal distribution curve okay then a normal distribution curve what is beta beta means the kurtosis it means the kurtosis the thickness of the tail that is beta value okay so that is kept in a you can say kept in a formula okay and then you derive the beta value for your course you just have to do beta more than 3 beta equal to 3 beta less than 3 right now beta and formula also i'll give you that how the formula works see distribution with kurtosis greater than 3 are said to be leptocurtic an example of a leptocurtic distribution is like lep lapi uh, laplace distribution in which tail is asymmetrically or asymptomically approaches to zero how come more slowly see see how come see this is zero value this is zero value this and here this side is minus 1 and this side is plus 1 so in leptocurtic the tail is coming so close to zero isn't it that means it's it does not have that much space all the values like if they are 1 2 minus okay 1 or you can say 0 two, 0 2 0 3 0 4 they will be so so close so close so close that all has to stay here only right okay therefore it produces more and more outliers than the normal distribution curve now as you can see you can find out the value with this you can see this um the beta value that you are saying beta or p any any variable basically this beta p this is just a variable and you can derive the value 3 by putting it in this formula 
right so now this formula is not in your course it is just just i'm i'm just trying to show you ki yes um all the like like you can say all the mathematic formula is kept and then you will find out that yes you are getting this value as beta is equal to 3 so here you are getting p or beta is equal to 3 if you will solve it you will get it as 3 right okay so this is why 3 because see mesocortic mesocortic also known as what normal distribution curve mesocortic also known as normal distribution curve it has a kurtosis of 3 okay called the mesocortic or mesocortocic the most prominent example is a normal distribution family only right and um, like it is a well distributed it does not have any problem here and there right next one is your leptocortic so leptocortic as you can see it means lepto means what slender slender that means it is see it is just slender in shape isn't it some peakedness is there the leptocortic has a flatter tails okay it has flatter tails example is like student t distribution that you have done in hypothesis also right and etc some some examples are also given poisson distribution exponential distribution etc now if you see platycortic platycortic so it has a beta value you can say either beta or p that denotes what that denotes your kurtosis that is any variable which is having some value with the help of some formula the formula is this one but this formula is not in your course yes thinner is platy definitely thinner is platy and heavy tailed is what lepto okay now c c c your 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 heavy tailed is lepto and thinner or light tailed is what platy okay and one more you can see flat top is what flat top is platy where peak top is what lepto okay one more one more you can say ki um here it has flat fatter tails it has fatter tails so here it is heavy distributed na or you can say heavy tail na so it has you can even write this it has fatter tail whereas here you can write it has flatter tail okay fat tail flat tail fat tail flat tail right okay now uh one more thing platy platy you can see examples of platy include what continuous as well as and discrete uniform distribution raised okay the most platy cortic distribution is bernoulli distribution with p is equal to half and um, fine means like you can just like for your exam only this much is relevant ki ki it has flatter tail it is thin tail it is flat from the top and the beta value is less than 3 and the outliers are not heavily stressed they are free they are free the outliers have less data all these three four times okay less than 3 no 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 gurjot in platy beta value less than 3 oppose ulta bana diya aapne symbol you have made ulta opposite okay getting it is it okay is it okay now let's go to skewness what is skewness see right now let's see kurtosis you have done here right now skewness in skewness also one you have a normal distribution curve right where you have a data 
Example. Suppose, let's start writing from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Right? Okay. Let's write just discrete data for our convenience. We can write any other numbers also from minus 1 to plus 1 for our convenience. But normal distribution, come on. For an example, let's consider normal distribution. Now, when we are saying a, a data is skewed, that means it is either right side or it is left side. Skewed, that means a normal distribution is sitting like this. You can imagine, okay. So, either it is going this side or it is going this side. So, how come? See, kindly see. One way. If I take this normal distribution curve and I and I keep it pointed at that height only, same height, but I just pull this this tail this side. That means on the right side. So when I'm pulling the tail tail on the right side, then what is happening? It is going on the positive side, on more and more positive side. So it is a positively skewed curve so when a positively skewed curve goes like this its tail is always stretched on the right side tail right side okay now let's consider the negatively skewed negatively skewed will look something like this okay okay so you can see the tail is actually going on the left side that means it is negatively skewed. Right, it is negatively skewed. Now, one thing positive, negative, but how we will uh, differentiate among them? Let's see. See, see, see. I'm putting numbers again. Same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0, 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 also. Okay, here also I'm putting 10. Now, here we know in the normal distribution curve, what is the property of normal distribution? The mean is equal to mode is equal to median. That means if I take this normal distribution, so here me, me, mo will be equal to 4 all will be equal yes left side tail will be negative definitely so here all will be equal yes okay now if we see right see positively skewed now here do you remember what is mode what is a mode what is a mode a mode is the highest frequency data that means whatever will be the top top of a normal dis of a curve so that will be mode that means i can conveniently very conveniently mark your gujot in that question test is ah yes we will come we will come to that point definitely i will ask you and you will answer me on your own gujot you see that see right now first let's understand the basic and then you will be telling me answer then i will be confirming answer right can you now see mode can i can i just mark that mode is nothing but highest frequency value highest frequency value right and mean is what what is mean that means average of all average of all values all values values okay what about median? Whether all are normally distributed or not normally distributed, median will be the middlemost value. Middle most value. Now, let's take, suppose, I'll take an example. One is, take I, I'm writing a few number. One, four, and uh, ten. Please tell me what is the median? Median 
आई वॉन्ट टू नो मीडियन वन फोर एंड टेन वॉट इज द मीडियन कैन आई से मीडियन विल बी फोर ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज इट इज द मिडिल मोस्ट वैल्यू बट वॉट इज मीन योर 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 आई वॉन्ट टू नो मीन विल इट बी इक्वल टू फोर और विल इट बी मोर देन फोर I will write one plus four plus ten. That means it will be what? Ah, uh, fifteen by three. That means it is coming as five. Okay. That means here, when I'm stretching, when I'm stretching this tail on extreme right side. See, I'm putting one value ten here, and putting what? One value and four and ten extreme right side. See. I could have ended this normal distribution here, but I've I've stretched it. That means mean is mean is actually lying. Wait. Are you a second? Just just hmm. see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means. mean is actually lying here and median is lying here whereas mode obviously the top top is it justifying yes yes it is justifying this height will be mode because there will be 2 2 2 2 2 many times two frequency will be more okay four is coming as emerging as our median and five is coming as mean acha so please count it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which number is bigger? Which number is bigger? Five is bigger. Which is smallest? Two is smallest. Two is smallest. So which is biggest? In this, can I say that mean is greater than median, and median is greater than mode? And which skewness is this? Please tell me which skewness is this? Positively skewed or negatively skewed? Positive or negative? Kindly tell me, positive or negative? The tail is stretching to the right side. So, it whether it is positively skewed or negatively skewed? Awesome! Awesome! Amazing! Amazing! I got all correct answer. It will be positively skewed. Hmm. Okay, now you can try the same activity with negatively skewed. I swear it will come exactly same. What? What? What will come? Let's see. In a negatively skewed curve, your mode will be greater. Mode will be highest. Obviously, mode will be highest. How come? You can see. See zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Suppose our average is coming. Average of all the numbers from zero to seven. Average is coming three or three point five. So that will be your mean. Your top height will be your mode, and median will always be a sandwich. Median is the sandwich. Median is the sandwich between what? Between mode and mean. Getting it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Till now, everybody is with me. Yes, getting it. And this this curve is also what negatively skewed curve. Wait, let me write it above so that you can you also see. This is a negatively skewed curve, right? Negatively skewed. Now. that means let's write a relationship between them all if this is if this is top right if this is top that means this is mode okay and if this is the average this is the average where median is the sandwich okay median is the sandwich okay and this is what mean on tail it will come mean here mean will come here on tail mean will come here and median will be sandwich okay so now please define all the three relationships which is greater which is lesser then you will get all your answers this is the last step 
see here which one is greater in positively skewed curve please answer me in the comment section i really want answer in a positively skewed curve here which is greater 2 5 ya 7 which is greater 2 5 ya 7 which number is greater 2 5 ya 7 what which number we know that which is bigger 2 5 or 7 7 is greater wow great great obviously so that means can i say that mean is bigger than median and median is bigger than mode of course we all know mathematics right so accordingly we will put all the data that is your mean is bigger than median and median is bigger than what mode right and here let's put it let's frame it here which is bigger 3.5 is bigger or 5 is bigger or 8 is bigger i think 8 number seems bigger i we, we feel that yes yes according to maths 8 number is bigger so when mode is 8 so mode is greater than median and median is greater than mean now all these charts are done my work over now it's your work what you have to think please tell me one thing i have a question ready for the question now gurjot has that question and, and we had solved that question in in class also that uh, if a test is difficult for us for students in class or in test if some test is difficult suppose so that means what does that mean that means most of the people will get less value or less marks or most of the people will get more marks what do you think if a test is difficult think about it think about it if a test is difficult right now hamare beech mein test ho raha hai all the students are participating so if a test is difficult so most of the people will get very very less marks that is 20 marks or most of the people will get 80 marks very less marks because of the difficulty of the test right so most most frequently occurred value that means what mode we have to see what mode most frequently occurred value mode we have to see so most of the people are getting very less marks here in mode where is mode smallest in positively skewed or in negatively skewed you have to give answer Where is mode smallest? In positively skewed or in negatively skewed? In positively skewed. Amazing. You got answer. Now, our today's question in special class of Unacademy was what was related to that. A, a, a normal distribution curve is negatively skewed. What do you think? The test was easy or the test word was hard. The test was easy or was it difficult? So what we will say, ki if it was negatively skewed, kindly see what most of the people are actually getting. Most of the people are getting, oh my God, 8 on 10, 8 on 10, 8 on 10, 8 on 10. That means, that means it is what? It is what? It is easy test, isn't it? very easy test you got your answer you only replied okay all the types of questions can be answered only and only on the basis of this chart as well as this chart I mean uh, for kurtosis this chart and for uh, skewness this chart okay is it is it clear with you all kindly tell me clear super clear just so quickly give me a thumbs up quickly please give me a thumbs up a like button of this video now one thing let's just quickly have the glimpse of the topic that what this cuneus is saying whatever is relevant to you we will just see it and um, after this kindly achha, these two diagrams please draw every single point of this diagram this diagram this diagram second and third this one and fourth this page 
at least draw these three four things in your notebook then tell me is there any any doubt or any question that you cannot solve related to NTGC net it is not even possible all the all the questions come from these things only all the questions related to skewness and kurtosis will come from here only okay now you can see skewness is just an independent variable skewed that means going right or left okay when we talk about see depending upon the model skewness may violate model assumption how how come because it is not following the normal distribution okay so it is just telling us ki how much left and right from middle from central tendency it is going okay so types of skewness are what positively skewed or right skewed in right a where all the measures of central tendency mean mode median should be what should be equal in a normal distribution curve but but if it is positively skewed then all the measures are dispersing which means positively skewed is a type of dis distribution where mean mode median are positive rather than negative or zero that means it is going like this its tail is going like this now one more thing uh, for a tip that you can remember your 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 in a positively skewed data you can see na this one that means you have told me the relationship that the height one height will be mode and here we will have what mean on tail there will be mean okay so highest value is of mean ya mode please tell me on the in the comment section now this is your test highest value will be mode or mean hi pragya no problem no problem yes please cover kurtosis from recording highest value will be mode or mean mode or mean kindly tell me let me see who remembers or who can relate 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 i know mathematics 2 or 6 which is greater 6 is greater hence mean is greater how to remember this for a long period of time see just just for an exa just to remember this is not a real thing but just to remember positive people are more mean i know it is a sarcasm it is just a joke not real thing but yeah just for learning you can do positive positive people are more mean more mean so they will have what more mean again and again you don't have to make the normal distribution or positives and negative and right numbers you can remember this way also one more way to remember median median is always a sandwich sandwich that means it is always between always between mode and mean right okay always so positive again that theory is coming you can see negative again theory is coming you can see now let's just quickly see what the the formula like kurtosis we have seen a formula mm, that formula is not in our course don't worry about it that is for statisticians only okay with that we can derive some value because then you have to do that mu 4 upon mu 2 something like that also okay to derive at that value <clears throat> right but here in skewness yes this is asked in our exam what is asked see pearson's first coefficient see you have decided that mean was bigger in a positively skewed mean was bigger isn't it see 1 2 3 4 5 6 suppose 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 this 2 is our mode and 6 is our mean okay 4 is our median and this is a positively skewed so what do you how, how will you find out the difference between the highest minus lowest that means you will do mean minus mode mean minus mode mean minus mode that means you will do 6 minus 2 right 
upon standard deviation let's take let's just assume that standard deviation is what 2 okay so let's take standard deviation so what is your pearson's first coefficient or you can say carl pearson's skewness the value is coming plus 2 that means again it is positively skewed getting it yes or no again positively skewed you just have to take mean divide minus mode divided by standard deviation that's it that is the formula okay just the formula okay now if suppose example suppose if mode is not visible is not there is not available then what formula we have to use we have to use this formula now how come this formula come how come this formula is derived you know one thing what you know that three median wait let's just wait a second let's just come here you know okay hmm. we know that three median minus two mean equals to mode yes or no equals to one mode we know this we know this yes or no re we should know this this is an empirical relationship between me me mo this we were taught in class 11th also this came in your previous year question 2020 also okay in in both shifts shift 1 and shift 2 only this question was there Ki yes yes try to recognize the correct formula and we just have to do some uh, right side left side this that and all we have to fit this formula and then bingo your answer was there in front of your eyes so now 3 median minus 2 mean equals to mode now imagine that mode is not available in your formula what was your formula your formula was for Carl Pearson for Carl Pearson of skewness it was mean minus mode divided by standard deviation now if mode is not available then you will do what mean minus instead of mode can i write 3 median minus 2 mean of course 3 median minus 2 mean okay divided by what again divided by standard deviation okay now let's just open this bracket minus so what will come mean minus 3 median okay plus 2 mean oh cool plus two mean now this mean two mean and one mean they will add up they will add up so they will become what three mean minus three median right okay now let's take this three common so what will be the formula the formula will be three mean minus median awesome okay divided by standard deviation so even if mode is not available still we can get what we can get carl pearson of skewness carl pearson of like carl pearson skewness right okay and we can get this three mean minus median divided by standard deviation which is written here okay so this is the second coefficient you can do this you can do this and you can do the previous page this one all formulas are important now you might be thinking but what about negative skewness see negative skewness will come automatically that is wait uh -oh. hmm. okay In a normal distribution curve, if you have seen positively distribution curve, you have seen one thing. What you have seen? That here, the value was coming 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Where mode was coming, mode was coming as 2, 
and mean was coming as what? 5. Okay, 5 or 6. So, how you find out here? How you find out the skewness? Skewness will be mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. So, here it is what? 5 minus 2 divided by standard deviation. Let's assume that standard deviation is 2. So, what is coming? What, what is the value? Plus 3 by 2. Plus 3 by 2. Okay. That means it is positive. Now, till now it is positive. What about negatively skewed? What formula we will apply? We will apply same formula. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Where mode is highest. Suppose. And mean. Suppose mean is this. Right? Suppose. So, again we will apply the same formula. SK is equal to mean minus mode same formula exactly same don't worry automatically answer will come minus in negative it will be 3 minus 6 divided by 2 so the answer will be minus 3 by 2 so we'll automatically get to know that this one that this one is a negatively skewed and this one is a positively skewed bingo got that Everyone got that? Yes or no? Please tell me. Everyone understood? Yes? Okay. So, mm, that's it. So, last summary is that in skewness, you can see it is essentially, it essentially measures the symmetry of distribution. The symmetry of distribution, whereas the kurtosis determines what? The heaviness of the distribution tails. How much it is heavy? Heavy, light. And uh, what is excess of, like types of excess kurtosis is? One is leptocurtic or heavy tail or fat tail distribution, which is more than the normal distribution. Mesocurtic is equal to normal distribution and platycurtic or short tail or light tail is less than normal distribution done and kurtosis also you have done two types of kurtosis positive and negative sorry skewness positive skewness negative skewness that's it lecture done okay lesson done you have understood everything related to kurtosis as well as um, skewness okay mind me fix oh yeah okay that's great thank you so much have a nice day good night and uh, one thing i'm teaching karnataka assistant professor for karnataka assistant professor exam so me and sir bodanala shivalingam are teaching and your exam will be in january so we are completing this course in december if you haven't joined please join you will get a lot of information lot of information in in this course whether you are giving this exam or you're not giving this exam this is over and above the net and set examination so you're not getting the exactly same uh, material you are getting something which is above your net qualified okay so that will be helpful for very very long term also for any commerce examination and uh, we teach paper one and paper two completely on an academy plus platform and till 22nd December, there is an offer that if you join for 12 months or 6 months, you will get 1 month and 2 months uh, respectively extra and free and also 10% discount if you use my referral code Niharika Live. Niharika Live. And this is also given on every page you can see. And tomorrow we are meeting in free class. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. You can see this is the schedule. So kindly join an academy. The link is pinned in the comment section. And uh, if you like my lesson, please give a thumbs up. And this is my referral code. Okay, I teach paper one and paper two. That's it. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Good night. See you tomorrow, 10 a.m. for um, Karnataka assistant professor. And in noon, 3:15. Communication class part 2.
we have already started for 2022 examination communication unit okay and please follow me on unacademy bye good night